Welcome guys back to another video of Premier League predictions. Today we are doing match day 35 and we've got some interesting games like the North London Derby this weekend. So let's get straight into it and we are starting off with Watford versus Newcastle. Uh, again, Watford are battling relegation so a win here against Newcastle will be big for them. We're going to be starting with Watford who had a crucial 2-1 win over Norwich at the weekend. That was very big to their season because it was against Norwich who are battling with them in the relegation zone and looking at Watford in the table that win was very crucial for them and it put them level on points with West Ham United and three points above Bournemouth who are struggling to get points but they did actually draw against Tottenham that was good for Bournemouth but uh, for Watford they'll be looking to try and win against the Newcastle side who got absolutely obliterated against uh, uh, Manchester City 5-0 that was very devastating for Newcastle but regarding uh, disregarding that Newcastle was sitting in 13th position and will be looking to try and get some points in the world because potentially three points here could get them into 11th place above Everton. So a European position still looks a bit likely for um, Newcastle, but again, they'll just have to dig through and I don't think they have enough quality to be able to do that. But I think Watford are a good side with lots and lots of quality and like the Ismail Asar, Troy Dean, they're very good players and I think they could hurt Newcastle quite a lot, which is why I'm going to give this a draw. I'm going to predict a 1-1 draw in this one. Next game in the Premier League is Norwich City versus West Ham United. Now, this is what you call an absolute relegation six-pointer because this is huge for Norwich because a potential loss here could see them relegated. This is, like, massive, but they are still six points away from Aston Villa, who are actually sitting in a 19th position. Uh, and a win for Norwich will put them three points within Aston Villa, and then it looks more like they can try and get out of it. But this is looking quite bleak now for Norwich, and I think they will get relegated there. Uh, looking at how far they are off the pace they are 10 points away from 17th uh, Watford so I'm not see I'm not looking at Norwich and saying they'll get um stay in the Premier League and uh, they will be planning for next season already but again it's West Ham and them not having the best of seasons they're in 16th in a relegation battle with 31 points level with Watford and three points away from AFC Bournemouth who are in 18th position uh, for Norwich City I don't think they'll win this game against West Ham West Ham are much more quality Norwich are good on the day which is why I think it'll be a tight game to an extent but I do think West Ham are more quality than Norwich which is why they'll win this game and I'm going to give this a comfortable 3-1 win for West Ham Next game is Liverpool versus Burnley. Now, uh, you might think Liverpool would run away with this, but again, Liverpool haven't been the greatest, you know. Looking at Liverpool's uh, last result, it wasn't very, very good, I have to say. Um, however, they did pick up a 3-1 win against Brighton, which was quite good for them because they are chasing the uh, points total that Man City set a few seasons earlier. And that was then courtesy of Mohamed Salah, Jordan Henderson and uh, Salah with a brace. So he scored another one as well. That was very good and they did beat Brighton 3-1. And that leaves them in the table with 92 points with four games left. And they could uh, potentially get 12 more points and finish like 104 points, which is crazy for them. And uh, that would be the highest points total ever. Uh, they will be chasing that. And I think against the Burnley side, have actually done quite well uh, looking at some of their problems they've had with uh, contracts and not being be able to extend them they are uh, one point behind Arsenal and level on points with Tottenham so it just shows Burnley are doing very very well and very over overachieving you could even say but again I do think Liverpool win this game quite easily they are the much better side which is why I'll give Liverpool a comfortable 2-0 win here Next game in the Premier League is Sheffield United versus Chelsea. Now, I have a lot of optimism for Sheffield United because they have bounced back quite well because they beat Tottenham Hotspur and now they've beaten Wolves courtesy of a late goal from John Egan. I actually watched this one live and I saw the cross go in and John Egan with a brilliant header to win the game for Sheffield United in the dying minutes. That was very, very good. And um, I think Sheffield United will be going and a lot of confidence will be going for them. And uh, hopefully they want to try and build on that. And in this game against Chelsea, Chelsea are looking slightly slightly shaky you could say because they had to dig deep in that three to win against crystal palace and uh, i think chelsea will be trying to cement that place uh in the top four because they are sitting in third because leicester did drop points against arsenal so uh, chelsea are one point above leicester with 60 points and um uh, two points away from Manchester United. So Chelsea will be looking to try and get three points above uh, Sheffield United or seventh and sitting in seventh with 51 points. So it's quite hard to predict this game, but I do think Chelsea will win this one. I think it'll be quite a tight game. I'm going to give this a 4-2 win. I think it's going to be one with lots of goals and I'm entertained to see this one. 
Next game is Brighton and Hove Albion against Manchester City. Now for Brighton, they've had quite a harsh run of games. I have to say they played like Arsenal, then Liverpool, then Leicester, then Chelsea. They've played so many big teams. And uh, actually Brighton have done quite well in those games, especially beating Arsenal and drawing to Leicester. But again, this doesn't get any easier for Brighton as they do play Manchester City, who, as I said earlier, won 5-0 against Newcastle. A brilliant win for them. Raheem Sterling scoring David Silva, uh, Riyad Mahrez and Gabriel Jesus. And there was an own go in there as well but it was a emphatic win there for Manchester City and they will be looking to build on that and try and do as best as they can going into the Champions League rounds which is well where they'll be most concentrated for Brighton they lost 3-1 against a much better Liverpool side uh, they did score one goal with Leonardo Trossard scoring in the 45th minute after Liverpool did go 2-0 up but they ended up losing that game 3-1 which wasn't great for, great for them I think Brighton will stay in the Premier League though considering how bad the teams below them have been they are sitting in 15th position 5 points above West Ham so I think they'll be safe to be honest with 4 games left and with the teams under them quite inconsistent so I do think uh, Brighton will have a good chance in this one and I do think they'll score in this game but I think um, Manchester City will win this one 4-1 Next game is again a very interesting one and it's Wolves versus Everton. Now this one is going to be really hard to predict because Wolves have really fallen off the pace after losing 2-0 uh, to Arsenal and then losing 1-0 to Sheffield United. I know it was a late goal they conceded to uh, to John Egan against Sheffield United but still you know Wolves they, they need to get back on track because their European hopes you know teams behind them are catching up because Sheffield United are one point behind them and Arsenal only two points behind them so if uh, Wolves slip up and Arsenal and Sheffield United win they could go above Wolves and that could be really really bad because Arsenal and Sheffield United are chasing those European positions and against an Everton team who have looked quite good but again in some games they've looked quite bad it's really unpredictable with Everton but they are sitting in 11th position four points behind Burnley and if they I think if they do make a good run going into this Everton they can try and chase the European position I still do think it's going to be very unlikely because I think Tottenham are a better quality side and Burnley I think will drop up but I, but I don't know man it's, it's hard to say with Everton and uh, looking at Everton's last game, again, they drew 1-1 to Southampton, uh, courtesy of a goal from Richarlison and Danny Ng scoring for Southampton. But again, you, know, you can't say much about Everton, you know, you don't know when they'll turn up. But for me, I think going, like, looking at all of this, I think I have to give this a 2-2 draw for this uh, for this one. I think it'll be quite an entertaining game and I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm going to give this a 2-2 draw, as I just said. Next game in the Premier League is Aston Villa versus Crystal Palace. Again, for Aston Villa, they, their future is looking very bleak now. I think uh, I think they're another team after Norwich that will get relegated soon if they don't start picking up points. And they, I think this is the time where Aston Villa just need to start looking at their next game and saying, where can they pick up three points? And I look at this game and I say, they can pick up three points here against Crystal Palace because Crystal Palace are a team that they sometimes don't play well against these sides. And I think Aston Villa will look at this and say, this is probably the best chance to actually get some points here. Uh, for Crystal Palace, they are unpredictable. Again, they're just one of those teams that always are unpredictable. And uh, they're sitting in 14th place, one point behind Newcastle, two points behind uh, Southampton, and uh, around three points behind uh, Everton. So again, for Crystal Palace, they're just looking at mid-table security. And uh, again, they're not going to get relegated or anything. So I think I don't think Crystal Palace have much to play for. But for Aston Villa, they really, really need to get three points. And I think three points will hold them tremendously because a three points will take them on um, 30 points, only one point behind Watford. And then they're really looking like they could try and survive in the Premier League. But again, it's going to be so, so hard for Aston Villa. I really feel for them right now. Uh, they did spend a lot of money. And the last game showed it. 3-0 loss to Manchester United. And uh, that is very, very bleak for them. For Crystal Palace, they lost to a much better Chelsea side. 3-2 loss. But they did score two goals, uh, courtesy of Wilfred Zaha and Christian Benteke. So I think for Crystal Palace, I don't know what they'll do in this game. For Aston Villa, I'm going to give them a shock one win and I really want them to get this win I really want Aston Villa to stay in this league next game is Tottenham versus Arsenal this is the North London derby I'm not going to talk too much about this because I've done a video already on this so please if you guys want to check that out uh, it's in my channel so just check uh, go into my channel and then if you scroll down a bit you'll find uh, this Tottenham versus Arsenal preview I've done an extensive 10 minute preview for this so please go check that out but enough rambling I just want to say you know form completely goes out the window for this game you know it's the North London derby both teams will be up for it hopefully anyway I don't know what Jose Mourinho is doing at Spurs it's really confusing but I think Arteta has got a good run of form going you know five games and defeated in the Premier League and uh, I think in the Premier League but in all comps uh, which was very good for them four wins and one draw and um, I really do think Arsenal will win this one I'm not going to give a score prediction yet I did give that in the game so if you guys want my score prediction you have to go into that um 
uh, video and like the video subscribe to my channel and then you'll see uh, the score prediction for that game so we're going to be moving on this next game is AFC Bournemouth versus Leicester City. Now, again, Leicester City, they did draw 1-1 one, one to Arsenal, as we just said before, and a courtesy of a late goal from Jamie Vardy, which actually won them the game because Arsenal went down to 10 men, which was very unfortunate for them. Um, for Bournemouth, they actually got a quite a good result against uh, Tottenham because Tottenham obviously looking very poor. They got a 0-0 nil, nil, um, a result against Tottenham. Actually, Callum Wilson had a goal disallowed from VAR, so they, you know, regrettably got quite unlucky there against Tottenham. Maybe they could have snatched the game right at the end. Who knows? But for uh, Bournemouth, they really need to try and get a win here against Leicester. Leicester on, they're looking a bit shaky. So I think uh, Bournemouth may look at this game and say we could win this one because Bournemouth, uh, they are three points behind Watford, and they really need a win. To be honest, they really, really do because the future is looking very bleak for them. You know, if they do get relegated, they won't get the TV re revenue, which is nice. 90% of the actual earnings so it's going to be very detrimental to them for Leicester they're still chasing the uh, European places and they are one point behind uh, Chelsea obviously because they lot drew to Arsenal and uh, Chelsea won so Chelsea did go above them which which is something Leicester won't look forward to and they don't want to lose that top four position especially when they have uh, United only one point behind them so I think Leicester will win this one I think and it'll be for me a 2-0 win for 2-1 win actually for Leicester City last game is Manchester United versus Southampton now for Manchester United obviously they are looking very very good they have such good form like five draws and one five wins and one draw something like that they've been exceptional and uh, they showed that with a 3-0 win over Aston Villa which was very very good for them and uh, again that, that, that leaves them one point behind Leicester City as I just said earlier and uh, they will be looking to try and capitalize and keep the momentum going to see if Leicester do drop points they can capitalize and I think this will go down to the final day because Manchester United do actually play Leicester so this could be decided then uh, they are playing uh, as I said they are playing Southampton and they actually drew against Everton uh, and Danny Ings is chasing the golden boot and only like one point behind a bamming or something and I think uh, Danny Ings will be up for this game so I do think Southampton will score in this one and I think obviously they are safe in the Premier League they're 12 and only one point behind Everton so again they are chasing mid-table mediocrity and uh, in at least for this season so I think uh, Man United will win this one quite easily and I think it will be a 3-1 win for them so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you have enjoyed please leave a like subscribe see you guys in the next one bye bye